everyone my name is Clantus and welcome to my YouTube channel so without further ado let's get into this video Dr. Nandi Pamakutumana's application for leave to appeal to the Supreme Court of Appeal was denied with costs now I must be honest that really did throw me off considering the fact that the arguments that were presented by advocate Kessler were convincing but then I started becoming a little bit curious and then I started calling around and I started asking some uh, lawyers. I happen to also know a friend whose father is a judge and I was like, hey, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, can you straighten me up here? And then he basically said that uh, it's highly unlikely that a judge will make a judgment. And then when that judgment is being appealed before the same judge, he will overturn his own judgment. Then I was like, okay, why would that be? They're like, well, judges, they also have like um, pride. Like they believe that what they say and they do is correct, especially in the court of law. So they can decide even though a, uh, an argument was persuasive enough because even Lobster himself, if you did listen to him, he did say that uh, Advocate Kessler or Senior Counsel Kessler he made a very good argument when he was uh, doing his, basically his presentation. However, though, he says he was not persuaded by the argument. And on top of that, he kind of like, I think he obfuscated by the fact that, um, number one, he did say that the deportation was disguised as a deport. It was an it was an extradition disguised as a deportation. Number one, that's breaking the law. Number two, he then talks about the fact that uh, uh, Princess Makutumana's lawyers uh, did not put in their notice or in their application that the matter was on constitutionality basis rather than on consent. Yet he was quite clear as far as I'm concerned that he was challenging the interpretation of consent. At the same time, why would Dr. Nantipa Makutumana consent to something that is unconstitutional and unlawful? And therefore, this judge just decided to hold on on the fact that you did not mention anything about constitu constitutionality in your application whether in your founding affidavit or in your notice for leave to appeal you didn't mention anything about constitutionality and so this to me was like okay I get it uh, it is his pride that he's saying I know I was wrong here but because this is my judgment I'm not going to overturn it go elsewhere which I still believe that Judge Lobster was still saying to, uh, to uh, Dr. Nandima Makutumana, please do not let me be that judge that releases you. I don't want to be that judge that releases you. Please go to a higher court and put those judges in trouble, not me. Because I still have other plans with my life. And also, I want to go down in history as that judge who never had a so-called high-profile uh, case like this one where the perpetrator or the accused actually walked free because of a technicality. And the technicality being extradition. So now, in my mind, I'm thinking, come on, dude. All you could have said was, okay, you know what? I'm giving you this. Go up to the SCA and do your thing. But of course, Dr. Nandipa Makutumana does have an option to apply directly or to petition the Supreme Court of Appeal and have her matter heard by nine, just, um, by nine judges. And uh, if those same judges don't want to overturn the judgment of the lower court, which is the high court, then she can go straight to the constitutional court. However, though, considering the fact that she mentioned constitutionality in her argument in this appeal, chances are she might actually skip the Supreme Court of Appeal and go directly to the constitutional court. But I would say that it is wise... I'm not advising her. Please don't get me wrong and think that I'm a fan of Dr. Nandipa Makutumana because I'm not. But I'm just looking at the processes and steps that she can take is that go to the Supreme Court of Appeal and then get your matter dismissed there before you go to the Constitutional Court where the final, final, final decision is going to be made. But it was quite interesting to hear 
uh, that her application was dismissed with cost. And uh, I, I don't wanna lie, I was surprised. I really was surprised because Kessler did a really, really good job. And even himself, the judge admitted to that, but he says he was not persuaded. He was persuaded, but because of his pride, because you know, because he doesn't want to go down in history having released Dr. Nandiva Makutumana uh, and granted her leave to appeal at the Supreme Court of Appeal and where she is going to win, he just did not want to be that judge. He just really didn't want to be that judge. That's how I'm looking at it. And I think that's how many people who understand how this thing works are looking at it. So in conclusion, Judge Lobster, in his conclusion, he said that he does not see any reasonable prospect that this matter is going to win at a higher court. I disagree with him because he himself said that South Africa violated extradition laws. Now, how do you say that and at the same time you are holding on on a piece of bone that does not even have meat by saying that she consented basically judge lobster wanted to hear that dr nantua makutumana was screaming and kicking when she was being brought back to south africa secondly i think what he also missed is the fact that uh what she said about coming back home to her children was to the wrong people. People who were not supposed to have been in Tanzania to begin with. That is the SAPS. And so I'm trying to understand why the judge will take the word of the SAPS who were not supposed to be there in the first place. They were violating the law and the sovereignty of Tanzania by being there to do what? To execute an extradition that was disguised as a deportation. So in the end, of course, he dismissed the application will cost and then uh, that was it. So now we are awaiting Princess Makutumana's next move. And I think her next move is going to be the Supreme Court of Appeal. She's going to petition the Supreme Court of Appeal. Now with Supreme Court of Appeal, as I understand it, there are nine justices that are going to listen. So now you are going for um, what you call this thing. Uh, you are going for majority judgment. If the majority say they concur with the lower court, then that's that. And if they say, if the majority says, no, the lower court was wrong, then she wins the application. But if the Supreme Court of Appeal upholds the judgment of the lower court, then of course her last option is going to be the Constitutional Court, where now she's going to be, did I say 11? It's nine at the Supreme Court of Appeal. And at the Constitutional Court, she'll be facing 11 justices. Once again, this is majority judgment. Majority of the 11 must either agree with the lower court or they must disagree uh, in their majority. If, she, if the majority says no, they overturn the judgment of the Supreme Court of Appeal, then she wins. But if the majority justices say, no, they agree with the Supreme Court of Appeal as well as the High Court, then she loses and she's got nowhere else to go but to go back to the Magistrate's Court where she's going to apply for bail and then go through that process before her trial. But hey, we'll see where all this goes. So anyway, guys, if you like the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a like. And do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. And don't forget to click the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Do leave me a comment down below and let me know what did you think of the judgment. Were you as surprised as many of us were? Because I believe that a good argument was put on the table. But then again, I understand that judges, they don't overturn their own judgments. That's that. That's how I'm looking at it, and that's how I'm going to see it as well. My um, super thanks are turned on. Thank you so much to those that are super thanking me. I highly appreciate it. It encourages me to do more of these type of videos. And I also want to encourage you to share this video far and wide and watch the ads. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.